Hello, Patricia. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. Good, good, good. Good. So good. Okay, and let's see. Hello, Oliver. Hello. How are you, Oliver? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Good, good, good. Hey, Mustafa. Hey, teacher. Hey, <laughs> long time no talk. Where you been? Yes, I um, was on Andrew today. <laughs> you what? I was out of my town. I was in scientific break and I retained two day to my town. Okay, well good. Good, good. Well welcome back. Welcome back. So good to see you. Uh, Hello, mentor. <laughs> Hello, mentor. Did you change your name? It is still mentor, right? Maybe maybe your microphone is muted. Hello, yeah, it's a little little hear, hard to hear you, mentor. It's okay, Hello? mentor. Yeah, hey, Hello? mentor. Do hey, you hey, we can hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little little bit of a boom coming from you right now, though. Um, your your microphone. Yeah, mentor. I'm gonna mute you just because your microphone is just clicking and clicking. Okay, it's okay, mentor. Just I think there's a little bit of a issue right now. With the uh, with the microphone, see if you can uh, take a look and see what's going on there. Okay, hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Well, is everybody is everybody turning up shy now? <laughs> what? No, no, Jane. Hello, Jane. Jane is here, right? That is her little. Uh... Okay, hello, Daniello. Oh, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, good, good, good. So let's see, and then who else do we have here? Christian. Hello, Christian. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Doing very well. So good, good. So let's see here. So Mustafa's working, Oliver's working, Jane's working, Mentor's getting his fixed. Uh, Liliana? Hello, Liliana? Hi, Brad. How are hey, you? Hey, I'm doing very well. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Enjoying a uh, sunny day here. So. Nice sunny day? Yes. Hmm. So, but not, not too hot? Or is it hot? No, no it's warm. It's warm. It's warm? Okay, yes, good. It's good to, good to go outside today. So I took advantage of the sunny evening and I went yep. outside. And what about you? Oh, I mean, it's it's seven o'clock in the morning for me, so it's uh, it's early in the morning. But things are good. Things are good. You know, taught a class, took my dog for a walk, ate some breakfast, and here I am again. So, very 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 simple, very easy life. I remember your dogs. I have a dog as well. Hmm. What kind of what kind of dog do you have? Uh, Westy. Westy. Okay. Good. 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 And yeah, those dogs are are pretty smart. My dogs aren't too smart, but they're lovable. You know, so that's all right. They they my make up for it in their love. <laughs> What's that? No, it's my spoiled baby. <laughs> it's uh, only one year and five months. Ah, I got it. Still a still it's a, a puppy. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. A little little very, bit over being a puppy. Very active, super active. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let's let's see. Uh, let's see who else is here. So Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, teacher. Can you hear hey. me? Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Jane. Hey, Jane, what, what creature is that? Is, is that the, um, is that the, uh, the monkey in Bahol that you the have there? Lori. Lori, Lori. I don't know the name. I will send you, send you guys a video. Very cute about the animal. Yeah, but, so what's... Um, yeah, but what's the name of it again? What's the name of Lori? Because uh, Lori, it, yeah, Lo you know, like that, Lori. Hmm. You know, because it looks very similar to uh, to this. Um, what is it? Uh, anyway, let me just pull it up. Over here in Behold, there's a 
thought there was a Laureate's wear behold. Because they have like the smallest monkey. No, 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 it's not it. No. Anyway, um, I don't want to get distracted with all that. So let's see. So good. <laughs> so every, <laughs> but that is one funny looking creature, you know. Yeah. So um, and there, there's <laughs> right over near where I'm at. Yeah. So actually, let me let me just pull this up. So yeah, actually, that's what it is. Then I'm sorry. So this is where. Um, this is the smallest monkey in the world, so the island right next to where I live, this is what they are, okay? Uh, yes. So that's that's what it is. And where I live is a place called uh, Lapu Lapu, uh -huh. okay? And Bohol is right next to it. So, <coughs> yeah, it's not going to give a big enough. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so here, this, this one has it. Yeah. Yeah, You're so right, Bohol. Yeah, you see this? This is this is the island of Bohol. And then I actually live right okay. Okay, where's the bridge? Oh no, no, I'm sorry. All the way down in here. Looking at Cebu. I live right there. <laughs> you see that little figure, that's right where I live. So <laughs> we go diving, we can oh, see Bohol. Where, I haven't, I haven't where seen. is it? La Pool La Pool. <laughs> yeah, it's in uh, it's in the Philippines. But yeah, I was wondering when I saw your picture. <laughs> what's the what's the uh, name, teacher? Bo Bohol small monkey. Bo Bohol is the name Bo of the place and then I can't remember the name of these little but it's the smallest uh, monkey in the world. Uh, you know, but I I don't oh, want to get too stuck on that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get too cute. stuck. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so let's see here. So, yeah, let's. Um, so, everybody here, you, you know, you're all are about an uh, intermediate to advanced level um, that I see here in class today. A lot of times, I have this class, and it's it's more towards a beginner level. So, I had beginning conversations uh, that I wanted to start out with, um, but that's okay. And we're not going to talk about horse meat. Okay, that's not part of our conversation today. So no more horse meat, <laughs> Mustafa. I'm, I'm done. I've I've given. I think neither, like neither monkey meat. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, monkey monkey meat. We won't talk about I'm that. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm done yeah. talking about. <laughs> our dogs are monkey meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also done um, talking about the meteor, so no more uh, conversations on the Brent, meteor. Brent, yes. Can mm -hmm. I ask you something? I noticed mm -hmm. that they changed the chat. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, yeah, so you can you can do individual replies. Um, I guess you can block people, like if they're doing something crazy. I think yes. everybody has the power to block, uh -huh. which. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then I can reply just to specific um, specific people in there. So, you know, like when I hit a reply in there. So, yeah, no, it looks good. Um, and then I can, uh, I, I myself, well, I think everybody can. You can filter for mes me uh, messages that mention you. Filter for message. Yeah, that should be, hey, we're in English. <laughs> we're an English platform, and it says filter for a message that mention me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so if uh, teacher uh, said, <laughs> sorry. No, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, go ahead, no, Lillian. Mm -hmm. if I reply to Jane, only Jane uh, can see this message? Only the person that I reply? No, no, it'll, it'll show up for everybody. Um, ah, okay. I, I believe, so but yeah, don't, but don't don't type something the crazy thing, you know. So everybody will. So <laughs> yeah, but but no, I'm I'm looking. I don't know if you all have the same filter, but it says filter for message that mention me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, you know that's you know, that's a proper English. Student <laughs> mention, mention me. I can I can block. No, that's... no, I'm just saying though. We're we're no? we're a um. No, 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 Jane. What? One moment. What I'm saying that we're a l English language platform, and it should be filter for messages that mention me, or filter for, at least filter for a message that mentions me. Okay, so it should be it should be one of the two. I'm just saying. I think it's funny when uh, when English platforms. Um, yeah. So let me show you. So that's how it should be, or like this. And I'm sorry, Jane. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just trying to complete this thought before my brain goes. So what, what were you saying, Jane? No, for, I, I didn't get it. If 
so for example if someone uh, say something about me something bad for example I can block yes you can, you can block them yep if somebody's talking oh. about your monkey <laughs> mm -hmm. So somebody's making fun of your monkey. No, no, kind of cursing. This is kind of. Cursing. Yeah, yeah. If they're cursing and stuff Using like that. Bad language, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Shay pointed out that um, that these monkeys, it looks like they're ancestors of Yoda. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe that's what they are. So they're Yoda's illegitimate, <laughs> illegitimate children. Wow, that's kind of weird. So, but, but hey. <laughs> but hey, folks! I think you know he, that I am. Um, he 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 he's happy. He found out his father. That he found his father. <laughs> yeah. But, I, but I think you all know. Yeah, I, th I think you all know that I practice something called dog me ELT. I don't know if you know about that, but it's teaching unplugged. So in this situation here, I want to switch things a little bit, just because everybody in here is at a level now that I really don't think that we have to go through. You know how to close a conversation, situations of like and dislike, and things like that. Um, you know, so let's ju let's just have a conversation about you know current things that are happening. Um, by the way, is anybody here? And I'm not trying to point out things in a bad way. Uh, is anybody here um, of the Islamic faith? Because we had a recent class that unfortunately kind of demonized the way that they are. Um, does anybody is anybody here? Uh, and the reason I ask that is because I'd like to discuss it in a positive way, okay? Because currently what's going on is in Syria, or they have um, in Cairo, they have this really great summit going on. It's called the uh, oh. OIC. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anybody had an opinion on this. And what's happening, which is really great, is... Um, for instance, Egypt and Iran, they have not met in, I think, like 20 or 30 years, something like that. They're finally meeting to help bring peace around the area. So, okay, well, maybe that's not a subject that folks want to talk about then. So, back Can to you the... the Peter, could you, could you post this link? Um, yeah, yep, I sure can. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank yep. you, Peter. You're welcome, and it's great to uh, to see things moving forward. Okay, so let's see. So uh, Z Z Lu, hi Z. Uh, hi. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Welcome. I'm pretty welcome. good. <laughs> good. Good. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Have Have you been in my class before? Yes, I have been to your class one time. Okay. Okay, good, good. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, and Happy New Year. So good. Happy New Year. Okay. <laughs> good. So, um, so, all right, so what would you folks like to talk about as far as in a conversation today? Are there any topics besides horse meat, besides, um, besides uh, the meteor, you know, anything else going on that you all want to talk about? Do you want to talk about, um, let's see, uh, pig wheelchair? Did you see that a little pig got a wheelchair? A pig got a wheelchair? Yeah, a little pig got a wheelchair. Xiaoju. <laughs> Xiaoju, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so yeah, Xiaoju means little pig. So, but hey, folks, by the way, is there anything that you all want to talk about here? Just, just watch this. This is pretty cool. As soon as we get through the advertisement. Yeah, hopefully it'll come out the uh, the speakers this time like it should. This series has unprecedented access to some of the self-made innovators and entrepreneurs whose fortunes have flourished in the past few decades. Changing fortunes on BBC World News.
When the American vet was asked if he could do anything to help a piglet born without the use of its hind legs, there was only one thing he could think of, and it was good news. Yes, there he is. He built a special wheelchair using pieces from children's toys. A tiny animal that now uh, is happy, enjoying his new set of wheels. He even found fame on the internet as hundreds of thousands of uh, internet users have been logging on to see how he gets on. He hasn't quite sort of mastered the uh, moving forward bit yet. Working on it though. Oh, he's very cute and enjoying his alpha. Okay. So there we go. So a little pig uh -huh. getting a getting a wheelchair. What do you uh what's your what's your first reaction to something like that? Yeah. How about you, Patricia? What do you, what do you think of little pigs getting wheelchairs? Patricia? It's okay. So yeah, I can hear you. So, what do you what do you think of this little pig getting a wheelchair? What's the first thing you think? You think, wow, when he gets big, I want to eat those front legs. Mm, no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't like I pig feel, feet. I feel poor for that. No. You feel bad for him. Yep, yep. Uh, how about I you, Liliana? I think it's, it's uh, hard to see them, but I think it's a, a great help for him. And in this way, he can mm -hmm. walk and uh, he can move to, from one place to another. I, I saw a, a dog uh, with this, uh, using the same uh, chill, uh, wheelchairs. And mm -hmm. I think it's, it's good for them because it's, it's very hard to, to know that they can't move their body, they can't walk. Mm -hmm. Like this, did you see this one with the police dog? Right? So this is this is a police dog in the UK that um, I'm not I'm not gonna turn the volume up in the video, you can watch it in the background. But yeah, there's a police dog in the UK that um, that uh, that ended up getting a uh, wheelchair after it was done with its service, so it saved countless lives and all these other things. So, um, Mustafa, did, did you have a point, or did you, uh, Jane? Oh, Jane, you're just, you're just checking out the system. Okay. All right. So, Christian. Hey, Christian. Yes, teacher. So, so what do you think about this? Uh, you know, should, should we continue to handicap animals like this? You know, yes, I, I mean, think it's really good for for him. Um, okay, it's necessary. Mhm. Mm so, so taking care of animals uh, like this, making sure that they uh, that they live a good life, that they're able to uh, conduct a, a fairly good life, even though they're disabled, is important, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you think, mentor? Same same thing. Yes. I'm sorry because uh, I, I it wasn't this page. I'm sorry, really. It wasn't such a clear. No, 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 it's it's okay. It's okay. No, no yeah. problem. So yeah. yeah, and Mustafa, you're oh, a yeah, horse I'm lover. Seen all this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mustafa, you're a horse lover, right? <laughs> Mustafa. Yes, By the way, yes. Mustafa. Yeah, I was I was raised around uh, first ponies, and then horses when I was a kid. Not the, uh, we used to have ponies when, when I was younger, and then uh, when I started to get older, my, my friends had horses. Um, but anyway, very good. Yes, Jane, we can see your replies, you and your little monkey. <laughs> so, oh, um, so, so it, 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 yeah. it's helpful for nothing. No, 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 it's okay, Jane. Yeah, we, we can see them now. So, uh, Be so... <laughs> it's, it's okay, no, because Jane. if, it, for example, if I, if I can uh, reply someone, and every everyone can see that. Yes, like yes, we 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 fun. all we all saw your reply to Mustafa. Hey, Mustafa, <laughs> what are you doing later tonight? I, can we, I didn't Scott? get it. I didn't get the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we we saw your proposal to Mustafa to meet him later tonight on Skype. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, whatever, whatever you guys want to do, you guys can do, okay? No problem, all right? I'm not going to judge. Um, just don't involve his horse. Mustafa. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, so how, do you, how, how do you feel about this? Would you ever get a wheelchair for your horse? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. That would be the end of it, right? You know. <laughs> how How about you, Oliver? What's What's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on this? Hello, Oliver. Okay, maybe maybe he's out walking his dog in the dog's wheelchair. So, and how about you, Z? Uh, I'm think I think that. We are not help the animals. We are help ourselves. We think a dog uh, with a wheelchair is beneficial to us, so we help the dogs, not because the wheelchair is beneficial to the dogs. Okay. So, and the benefit is is that we feel better about ourselves because we we built a little pig wheelchair. Yes. And a little dog wheelchair. Yes. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough point. Definitely fair enough point. So, and also too, um, yeah, yeah, very, very, uh, very valid point. So, all right. So, if you guys are wondering, well, why the heck is Bird introducing this? So, you know, so you look at something like this, right? And then now we look at something like this. You know. Okay. So we we look at this. I mean. Look how cruel this is, right? Yes. Okay. You know. Yeah, and I don't. I, and look, folks, please don't be upset at me. I don't mean to be so. You know. Um, I don't know. I, I wasn't trying to manipulate the situation. I'm trying to make a point here. And that all humans, we all fall into the same thing. So, what's the difference in one of these pigs and that little pig? You know. There's no difference. <laughs> There's there's no difference, right? Yes. So the same, same game. Yeah. And and like I said, folks, you all are you all are either advanced or um, intermediate English speakers. So I didn't want to waste my time with the small little conversations. Okay. So so this is good. I, I personally, I think this is a deep conversation, right? Uh -huh. You know, I mean. So what what do you think? Um, who who wants to speak up? What do you think about the difference in how we treat little animals like that? these dogs and then when we have mass amounts of um, pig farms like this anyone did, they, they did you can, have an they, they, go ahead Louie. I think they aren't free because they mm -hmm. are uh, in like in cages and they don't uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy uh, staying outside I think it's, it's mm -hmm. not uh, it's not fair for uh, for them to stay in a closed space all the time. It's, it's not mm -hmm. right for them. It's, it's, they, it's, it's, yep. And and humans, we are uh, so uh, cruel, uh, mm -hmm. and only use this animal for our benefit. Yep. Yep. Would you, would you all like to watch? So what you're saying is too about how they're caged in, they can't breathe, we're doing this for a benefit. I'd like to further this discussion, but would you all like to watch a really interesting video when it comes to the production of chickens in relationship to human beings? And I, it's, it's an art, it's almost a, uh, an art form too. So everybody knows how to click their YouTube button. So every, everybody click yeah. your YouTube button on the left, okay? Go ahead, keep clicking it. Everybody, yep, everybody. I can see your names fill in. So everybody, keep clicking on the left. Click your YouTube. All right. I think Christian. Okay. Okay. Looks like everybody's there. I'm gonna go ahead and run the YouTube video for those of you that are on the outside. I sent you the link. Here we go. As long as it doesn't crash my system, it crashed my system the other day. Okay. Here we go.
Okay, so um, what you know, this is an art. Okay, these there's two movies out there. There's two films um, that are out there. Okay, uh, the next, the latest one is Samsara. Uh, the first one was Baraka that you saw, and all it is, it, there's no words. It's only time-based photography and so forth. But anyway, I'm not trying to sell those movies. I'm just encourage you all to watch those. Now, in that one, the reason I brought it up is I think you all can see it's showing the relationship between or the similarities between these little chickens and us. Yeah. Are we that much different, you know? No, no, not much different. Yeah, and then at the end, I think that we see that window, and then we think about what the chickens see all day and how they don't have that capacity to breathe so forth. But anyway, folks, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking. I want you all to start talking about this. Um, so, what what do you all think? I mean, you know, is is man? Is it that we have dominion over all of these animals and everything that we have control? We have this right, no. or is it that we have this right and we should be more respectful of it? What is it? Go go ahead. You start out. Um, start out, Lillian, and please, everybody, join in. I, I don't want to have to call on you guys too much, but go ahead, Lillian. Start out. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing is that oh. we have the capability of doming the the other animals, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, do we have the right? Um, I I think <clears throat> that's the the nature works. If you have the capability, then you have the right to dominate dominate them. So if we have the capability, it's okay. And everybody, it's just your own opinions. So you say that since we have the capability, we have the right. We have this dominion over um over all the creatures and over land. Okay. Anyone? No, I think uh, we don't have the right to um, to abuse or to mistreat, mistreat the animals. We have to respect them because uh, they live in the same uh, uh, space as humans. So uh, I think it's not fair for the animals uh, to uh, to to be treated as as a thing. Uh, uh, I think uh, the, it will. It it could be. Uh, it, um, the, it it has to be a, a balance between uh, humans and animals, and we respect mm -hmm. each other and live in the same space, but uh, not to treat them as this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you respect them, you should not eat them. And you respect them, but, them, but they don't respect you. you. You have the capability to put them in cage. But if you don't have that capability, uh, for example, if you see a lion in a forest, a it, may, it may eat you. It didn't show any respect no, to you. If, if, if you, if you uh, how can I say that? If you don't respect their environment, uh, they uh, they attack you because it's uh, it's their space. So we can learn yeah. to, to respect their their environment. Yeah, and just, and just to and just just to keep things even, okay? A chicken's not going to attack you. So yes, there's lions, things like that. But for the most part, a fish, besides a shark, won't attack you. So just you know, let's let's keep everything in proportion or relation, okay? But but go on. My point is that uh, animal also eat animals. Do they respect each other? Yes, I always respect uh, my pets. I think they deserve our respect. Uh, are you a vegetarian? Sorry? Are you a vegetarian? I, I, I don't understand you. Vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian. Do you? No, no, I'm not vegetarian. But uh, uh, anyway, I don't like to to, to mistreat animals. <clears throat> I don't like. I hate people uh, when people mistreat animals. 
you like your pet because you think uh, not because you respect them, because you think the pet is beneficial to you. Okay, you eat animals because you think any eating animal is beneficial to you. Or you everything you do is based on your your interest, not on the interest of animals. So, so and that's a, that's a valid point. Um, uh, Mustafa, mentor, Jane, yes. any 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 opinions on that? Yeah, on I, that, I you know, think. Yeah, I think in this point, um, the the organic meat is is very different because they they have uh, different politics to treat the animals and mm -hmm. to to it's not the word to kill them. It's another word I don't remember now. But it's okay. It's, it's, you're talking. It, you're, mm -hmm, you're, you're talking about free range, okay? Keep going, so yeah. folks that don't know this. So this is free range. This is industrial, okay? So this is when they have free range production, okay? Keep keep on going, Jane. Yeah, and organic the the way they produce the, the meat's very different because the 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 laws the laws is different. They have to to leave animals. Uh, outside, the, it's, it's everything different, and I I think it's great. I think it's great because because is is part from from most of culture to to eat meat. So it's mm -hmm. so and, and mentor. It's a, it's a good option. I'm sorry. You know? yeah. Yep. Yeah. And mentor, you were gonna say yeah. something as well. Mm. You know. It's a little bit. Uh, we if we say do we have right or not right, so we go to directly to the to re we relate with the religion on this question, you know, because if you are right, so we are not going to be punished, or if we are not right, so that we are going to be punished about the God, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. We go directly to, to this question related to the religion. So if we go, if you are monotheist, we go to the direct to the holy books, you know, which exist, you know, for Bible and Quran. So there is a law to to eat the animals. It differs for for some uh, kind of religion, for example, Islam, pig, or so on. So I don't think so that this is is. I think we have right, you know, to eat. You know, to treat like this animal. But if you ask me my personal opinion, I think they have right to treat animal and to to kill or so on. But if you ask me if I can do that, I cannot do that. But I think they have right. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. my opinion. Yeah, and then then you look at you look at um, the Buddhist. Uh, yeah. You know, Buddha, Buddhism is actually a philosophy. For those of you that haven't yeah. ever studied it, I know that I know you yeah. want to call it. People want to call it religion. It's actually a philosophy. He never meant it for it to be a religion. Their belief is that when you eat an animal, you eat their soul, and then that soul is trapped inside you, and it makes it makes you dirty. Okay, yeah. so they even have it a little bit further. So, so okay, so I think if we bring together what we're talking about, we're talking about possibly that. It's okay to eat animals, but yet this mass production that we're looking at of animals like this, okay, that maybe we need to stop this and move towards something like this, the free range. Uh, anybody? Mustafa? Uh, oh, no. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Who's that? Uh, Zoo? Uh, mm -hmm. Why we have mass production? Because the... Productivity of the industry is high. The free range is good, but the productivity is low, and uh, there will be not enough food for us. You know. Mm -hmm. And 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 what about when you talk when you talk about that? So those of you that don't know, GMO, yes. genetically modified organisms. So here's a here's a GMO chicken. 1950, 68 days, this is what a chicken looked like. 
<laughs> now it's like a monster chicken yeah. in 47 days. So we, we modify these so that we can have, you know, anyway, I think you all get the point. One question. Um, and, mm -hmm, yep. Is this kind of chicken genetically modified? I don't think oh. there's any kind of GM chickens. Oh, no, no, this, this is definitely modified. No, this no, is no. definitely uh, this chicken. Yeah. This chicken here, the, the one at forty-seven days, absolutely one hundred percent modified. No, it is not a genetically modified chickens. My this friend, why why do you say that it's not genetically modified when it says right on the label, it's a genetically modified chicken? I think they made it. It's a okay. mistake. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Trust me, there's no mistake. Trust me, there's no reason I would show this, uh, and there's no reason that they would put this on here. This is the whole point. It really, really, it's we, and, and you can even. Mm -hmm. We only have GM uh, plants. Not no, GM. no, no. There's 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 GMO in everything. Okay. Yes. There's GMO in everything. I I, I honestly I promise you. This is a chicken that's been genetically modified. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. They genetically modify salmon. Okay, there's genetically modified fish. All of these different things that they have. Really, ser seriously. It's, um, well, it, it's just the way it is. And if you want to watch a good documentary on that, there's a documentary called Food, Inc. That you can look up, okay? Uh, okay. Right. okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it's, and it's okay. You're, you're just being exposed to new stuff. You know, Mustafa, did you uh, did you have a comment on this? Mm. Would you like Would you like a genetically modified horse? No, no. No, but go ahead, Mustafa. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so um, Lillian, were you going to say something else? Yeah. Okay. No, I I think yes. I uh, I believe that all the animals are uh, genetic, gen genetically modified, and um, it's uh, I think it's sad to know that because uh, uh, I think we we don't have the right to, to modify the animals. Uh, they led them to preserve their nature. And uh, as Jane uh, typed it before, uh, all of chicken, uh, they, uh, in uh, they injected a lot of hormones as well. Mm -hmm. no, well, not only, not only hormones, but also one thing that's really bad is antibiotics. So for them to be able to be in a situation like this, beef, pigs, chickens they all have antibiotics and what happens is obviously those antibiotics it doesn't leave the chicken when the chicken dies we eat it and then then it's then it's cons then we get it inside of us you know so hey uh, hey yeah Christian were you gonna say something go ahead Christian no I don't have anything to say <laughs> So the, the human uh, not only uh, damage the animals, only damage our bodies with uh, these uh, mm -hmm. components. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Jane asks antibiotics. So what? Yes, we're eating antibiotics for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. And it's in uh, it's in many different things. It's even in the salmon production. Okay. So what they do is they put antibiotics. <laughs> this they don't, they don't do it like this, okay? <laughs> but it's in their, it's in their feed and so forth. Hmm? Because some some food, some oh, some vegetables and and plants, they have natural antibiotics. <laughs> but didn't <laughs> in meat. <laughs> Only, only organic, yeah. organic vegetable or organic products. They don't have uh, any kind of uh, hormone or. Yeah. But is is not natural, as in the organic. Yeah. Uh, 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 mm. Go ahead. 
uh, I think uh, should we do this? Uh, shouldn't it be? Uh, I think uh, um, if we consider about uh, the GM food, we should not think about uh, is it natural? Should we have the right? I think the question is, is it beneficial to us? If it is beneficial to us, we should do it. If it is not, we shouldn't do it. Is it natural? Well, do we have the right? I think that's not the question. Okay, well, what's the question then? What is beneficial? Is it beneficial to have mass food production that mm, yes. destroys the environment? So that, that's a question. So what, what do you all think? Just because we can produce this amount of food, do you think that it's good for us? What, what about you, Oliver? Uh, sorry, what? No. Mm -hmm. what, what? Do you, what do you think, Oliver? It, it's okay, Oliver. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about the fact that as human beings, we think that it's beneficial that we produce massive amounts of food so that we can enjoy more meat, um, you know, different sorts of fruits that we like and so forth. Do you think that it's good for us, that we should just be able to do whatever we want? Well, I think that, uh, like... Almost everything has pros and cons. Mm -hmm. And what are, what are some of the pros and some of the cons about this? It's okay. Well, so what are some uh, of the... Go ahead. Well, the, obviously the pros is that we can get more food with less effort, so more food for less money. But mm -hmm. the cons is we have manipulated something that they, that we don't really know what happened with all this genetic process. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and, and there are uh, uh, other issues too, like uh, there's a company called Monsanto. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's what I brought up up here, you yeah, know. And, so and Monsanto, that, they're headed. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yep, they're the main guys doing this. Yeah. Go ahead. And and there's well, it looks like this company is buying and owning a lot of aliment licenses like or like vegetables or or corn. So. If you want to <coughs> to plant some vegetable, you have to 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 buy to Monsanto the seeds. If you don't do that, you are like a a pirate, so you can be arrested for piracy, for infringement yep. of intellectual rights. Yeah, and that absolutely. Is a, is, yeah, and that is a, a very high cons, I guess. Of that all genetic modification, because with that thing is is how Monsanto made his licenses. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, 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 uh, go ahead. Uh, yes, you have to buy the seed from Monsanto every year. I, I think this is the same kind of copyright about the software. You, 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 if you buy uh, a Windows. From Microsoft, you have to pay pay them. That's the same thing. They invent, they put a lot of money in it. This deserves money. No, no, yeah, I, I understand. And I, look, I I don't mean to disagree with you so much today, Z. That that's not it. And I'm trying to get everybody to to talk. But <laughs> Monosato, okay, these guys are evil. Okay, they they they're just plain no. evil. No, 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 they, they are. In India, India finally stood up against them. They said, you know what? Forget you guys. Because they started forcing India to where the people that had been growing rice for years, for years, okay? Their own little rice. Manusata came in, worked with, the, worked with the government, forced them to where they would have to start using the rice. And then finally, the, the people in India said, forget it. We're not going to deal with this. Just like the people in India also stood up against big pharmacy and said, you know what, if there's medicine that is made that 
is for people with cancer, people with um, AIDS, different things like that. We're going to make that same medicine. Forget the pirates. Forget forget about the uh, the patent rights. I understand what you're saying, Z. You're saying it's a choice, but if you if you read more about Mon uh, Monsanto, they basically manipulate governments and force people in to this type of production. Yeah. I, I don't believe that actually. I think actually, uh, about wait, the wait, 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 wait one second because I think Oliver might have experienced this firsthand. Go, go ahead, Oliver, and especially actually, South America, Africa, yeah. those places. Yeah. You see that happen very much. Actually, go ahead. It's not, it's not a choice actually, because you know, you see, when when you buy a seed of from Monsanto and you plant the seed, the new seed, the Monsanto seed. Uh, invade the the land of the neighbors, so the Monsanto seed. Even if you don't plant it, you can get the seed in your in your land, and if, and if yeah. you have the seed in your land, whatever it it has come to your land. This seed could be, could kill your your old plant, the original plants, and so uh, you and also this seed are mo a lot of time genetically modified modify to um, in that way that you can use some uh, chemicals to yeah. avoid some plants, but just this seed, not the others. So the other plants are going to die, and the Monsanto plants are going to live. So, in in a matter of time, we are going to have just Monsanto plants. Yep. And and let me let me help explain what Oliver's saying. So remember, folks, seeds. Okay, seeds. Seeds, which are the basis of plants, they travel via wind. They travel via animals and so forth. So if you have one plot of land that's growing Monsanto seeds, eventually those seeds are going to end up in other plots of land that might be owned by you that's a natural um, farmer, for instance. And after a while, it's going to overtake your plants. And not only overtake your plants, but if Monsanto finds any strain of their seeds in your plants, they'll sue you. Okay? So very, uh, very crazy. <laughs> Okay, Z's putting some light. Uh, anyone else? Jane, Lillian, have, have you guys heard about this? George? Hello, George, Rob? Hi. Hi. Are you following the discussion here? Uh, I don't understand it all, but uh, are you talking about seeds? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's all right. So what, do you, what about you, Patricia? Have you seen this before? Yes. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, I don't like to talk about it, especially at Monsanto, but the industry produce food. Uh, you know, um, it's, in the world exceeds um, 300 million of people need, need to eat. You know, uh, uh, I think personally the, the industry and technology um, should be the resource for to improve the production, but it's very difficult because in the world in many cultures, you know, um, obviously uh, it's, it's impossible uh, we are we are angry uh, when this topic because uh, the people need to eat, you know. Uh, the produce uh, is necessary. Some industry, part of industry, uh, to meet with the the rules uh, for to produce. And other companies no, but it's a it's a topic. Um, Maybe pass with with many companies, you know. It's 
uh, I think the government, uh, the government of countries can be uh, and common agree for this topic because um, it's a future topic, the food for the world. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Example, so. I'm, yes. I'm. Uh, I don't like see. Obviously, I don't like see. Uh, see when the animal suffer. But um, for example, in Argentina, I have a friend who produce uh, lo, uh, cows and vacas and terneros. I don't know how to say in English, but you know. Um, the world are consuming food. Uh, in Africa, uh, the children did for not eat. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that we need to have these GMOs in order to sustain the proper food production? So they no. they modified these uh, plants, animals, and everything else to increase the amount of uh, food that we can produce. Do you think it's necessary? Or do you think there's other ways? No, I think uh, maybe I other form for product for good production of food, and I think in the government and international uh, many countries around the world have uh, allowed for this topic uh, because for topic for example, if you consume, uh, see if you are consuming product uh, modific genetically, genetically uh, maybe you have a probability can you eat but uh, it's very difficult this topic because many 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 money in the made you know and for example Monsanto is a big 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 company uh, around the world uh, you know the money moving, the money moving everything. Uh, the the human not not think in short plus in in a long plus. Only you know money. It's money. I think. Mm -hmm. But I I don't I I don't lose the experience. Uh, the human uh, can be angry. Uh, but it's necessary uh, a regulation for for every company who want to produce food. Mm -hmm. Yep, got it, got it. So yeah, yeah, and your your point Z is is right. Okay, but just keep in mind that there's going to be scientists that are for and scientists against this, you know, and. It's almost anything these days. You know, you have scientists that say there is global warming, scientists that say there isn't global warming. To me, I don't care about global warming. What I care about is clean clean air and clean food. So my point is, it's so difficult to say that you can point towards scientists these days because there's scientists on both sides, and it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out which one's right. To me, I... For some reason, I, I you know I like Mark Twain. He says common sense ain't so common, you know. Okay. Yes, I understand. Sorry, my English. You know. No, no, no. You're not. You're not doing anything wrong, Jane. Jane, I was replying to um what uh what Lou has here in the side, okay, um, and uh, you know, but. Yeah, I just I don't know. For me, for some reason, I think that modifying um, food and actually, there's a lot. There's a lot, Lou. There's so many scientists in the United States that are against GMO. There really are. I promise you. There's a huge movement in there. Look, I'm from the U.S. I I know the way things are going there. How come How come you don't believe me? Why would I lie? What would I'm not a Greenpeace advocate. I myself, you know, I look I look at I look at the various popular vegetarians in the world. Um, you know, I look at people like like this. I look at Bill Clinton, uh -huh. I look at Steve Jobs. There's just one just one second, okay? I look at Gandhi, I look at Albert Einstein. These folks are all vegetarians, okay? 
All right. Hitler was. They're the they're high. <laughs> I know he was too, but um, but these are all highly intelligent human beings yes. that all support the fact of being a vegetarian. I myself am not a vegetarian. I'm fairly close to it. Okay, but when it comes to mass production of food, so that we can have Burger King, Arby's. Um, McDonald's, all this other stuff, which is food that doesn't do anything for us, just rapes the environment, and the only way they can supply them is through GMO. Okay, because it's such a mass scale. That's 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 my point here. Okay, it's not so much I think everybody should be a vegetarian. I also think that some GMO can be okay, but not when it tries to just crush the competition. Right? Not when human beings just become walking ATMs. And that's all we are these days. We're just walking cash machines where yeah. people don't care yeah. what they put in us. They don't, they don't care about what food they put in us as long as they're making money. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's business. the way it is. Business. It's business. Uh, right. yeah. I, I, I ask you one, one, one question. Uh, there was mm -hmm. a vote in California uh, last year. Should they put a label on GM food? Do you know that vote? Yes, I know exactly. Prop thirty seven I think is what it what what it is. Yes. Something like that. Mm hmm I uh, so what why they all choose not to put a label on GM food? Do, do you think they are all foolish? <laughs> Because I'm telling you, if you know the way, if you know the way that the government works, okay, this is the way it is, and it's not a conspiracy. It's just the way it is. They have big lobbies. Monsanto is a huge corporation that spends lots of money to make sure that things like this do not go through. That's exactly.